Hello everyone, Adorzen Botanical here, and welcome back to Southern Ontario's Native Plants and Wildflowers, where we will be featuring Saracenia purpurea, or the Northern Pitcher Plant. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so here in Ontario, we have a type of carnivorous plant that is fairly common throughout Ontario, especially in the northern areas. And when you find patches of it, it's very common. Uh, it grows in wetlands and bogs, often peat bogs. As you can see, I'm on a boardwalk here. But if I were to step off, this is a floating sponge on top of a pond. So there's likely water under here. And all this sphagnum moss grows and forms a blanket over it making it able to hold trees and other plants including the pitcher plants now in this area they're super common uh, this is actually southern ontario which is rare to see them in southern ontario but where you do see them they're often everywhere as you can see all kinds of plants everywhere if i walk down this path a little bit more you see there's more there Got some there. There's a huge clump of them there. And the further into the forest you get, the more nutrients there is, the less colorful they tend to be due to lack of light, and the less uh, big the pitchers are. So smaller pitchers and more of a leafy kind of look, as you can see right there. More of a leaf here and a smaller pitcher. And that's from having too much nutrients, so they don't really need big traps to catch a lot of food. Um, so often along here will be sphagnum moss, will be some blueberries, uh, cranberry bushes. As you can see, here's some little cranberry bushes. Um, there should be sundews. However, it's late fall right now, October. So sundews are basically gone for the year and hibernating now. Um, but yeah, you can still find the pitcher plants. They, they're evergreen, so... You can find them any time of year, but yeah, it's really cool to see them in the wild. They are protected, so you can't collect them, you can't take the seeds, um, none of that. So if you're going to get some of these, make sure you buy them from someone that didn't poach them. Is that's uh, you can get in a lot of trouble for that because they're highly protected, especially in Ontario. So keep that in mind when you're buying them. Ask them where the source they got them from was, and you'll know if they are poached or not. So, um, yeah, they're everywhere, as you can see. So it's pretty cool. So I highly suggest if you're in an area where they're native, check out a bog or a fen or a marsh and see if you can find them. It's uh, pretty cool. So thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And as always, stay outdoors, be botanical, keep your hobbies, and I'll see you in the next video.